All right, man. What is up? What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Plenty of Xbox Podcast. I am your host, Best Bot Kid Smooth, back with ILP, Lord Gaming Addict. What is up, man? What's going on, guys? It's been a very chaotic week. Uh, it's going to be an interesting show, to say the least. Yes, absolutely. We're, you know, you know, we're exiting May and entering into June. Uh, PlayStation had their state of, uh, state of play. Uh, Xbox had a few um, announcements. There's more rumors uh, and all sorts of stuff uh, going on. Um, I'm surprised you're not in London, though. Like, what's going on with that? London? London. There's a bunch of influencers that have been flown out to London <laughs> to see, I think, yeah, I Microsoft believe a, Beth- a Bethesda studio or something like that. Microsoft ain't sending my ass out to that shit. Who's, who you seen being sent? Uh, Colt. Uh, Paris, um, I think, uh, one of the war Tom, either I think it's Tom Warren or something like that, or Paul Tassie, whatever. Um, uh, but a, a few of the to be honest with yeah. you, like, I do, I would love to go to something like that, but it would have to be a game that I'm generally interested in. Like, I would, I, I don't think I would just go on something without them telling me what it is, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I believe it's that, that's, Fall. I think it's Fallout seventy six related. Oh, then probably I wouldn't go. <laughs> like, here's my thing. Like, I, I remember a bunch of people went to the Elder Scrolls Online thing. I don't play Elder Scrolls Online, so like to me, I feel like me accepting that would be taking an opportunity away from an influencer that actually plays that game. You it's know a what I'm trip saying? Trip to London, though. It's I don't London. care though. Yeah, I've neither do I. I don't. Like I, don't I don't like traveling either. But like you know, um, but yeah, man. Shouts out to them. Looking forward. I think it's going to be something after the showcase that uh, they look like they're going to be able to talk about the content or whatever they've seen on June eleventh. So, uh, but you know, I, I am taking. I I I have been doing some previews though. So, uh, you know, those embargoes aren't up quite yet, mm-hmm. but they'll be up here in the next like week. So I do have some stuff to, to you know, talk about. Just nothing London related. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> um, it's just like when it comes to the whole like London thing. Like, I maybe I'd go just for the experience one time. But I just don't you think you feel away going to something that you don't play at all? Like you, you, it's gonna be like so such awkward conversations like they're sitting there trying to like break this world down and uh you know ask well you know this is what we did this last season i would just feel away if i didn't know what the fuck they're talking about yeah. does that make sense yeah because you might not like, be and, interested in it at all and i think you know, if it was fable sign me up i'm there you know what i'm saying but it, it just and one thing it's like another thing i personally feel that if i did that it would be unfair the content creators that actually cover that game frequently mm-hmm. and i got that <clears throat> that opportunity when one of them should have had it fair fair okay um so there's a you know last week our last podcast we talked about you know hellblade um extensively um fresh off the reviews um, have you played anything since then? Yeah, I've been playing uh, some games I can talk about. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Destiny. Um, I, I actually went back and played like the old Star Fox from the N sixty four days. Yeah, I saw a stream go live. How what do you, how, how did you do that? Are you playing on PC or you're actually playing on a sixty four? The 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 Switch. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, duh. All right, that makes sense. Let's just start. Uh, I've uh. I've I went to play Hellblade again. Um I played uh Dead Island 2. They had another DLC that I completely I completely forgot about. Completed that so I can maintain my 100% completion. Um that was good. Uh shout out to the people that did Dead Island. I don't know where they landed in terms cuz I know they were owned by Embracer, so I don't know what part where they're at now because of Embracer like all the studio closures, all the selling and splitting. I think they broke into two different companies. Yeah, so I don't know I don't what side know of the company there is, to. but 
Shout out to the devs of Dead Island 2. You guys created a really, really good game, and you supported the game very well. You guys had two DLCs since launch, and both DLCs introduced new weapons, new moves, new bosses, and new zombie types that pretty much become a part of the actual game. They just, like, generate as part of, like, spawns. Um, but they're incredible. I shouldn't say incredible. That's too strong. But they're, they're really good DLCs. Um uh, that add to the gameplay and then we just really i feel like we don't really get that often enough with these uh experiences um but 100 percent completed uh dead island 2 uh 100 completed uh hellblade 2 um after after what is it it's been a it's been a week yeah full week a little over a week since the game's been out um the reviews are where they're at i think it's an 81 very polarizing polarizing game um I, a digital foundry did their uh, wrap up on it um they had nothing but positive things to say about it obviously is a visual stunning game uh nx gamer nxg i think is his name he he works for ign he did his review of the game i enjoyed that very well they i, I like how they get into the technical aspects of it um and everybody seems uh who studies like video games from a technical standpoint seems to be very impressed with the game um personally uh, sometimes we get video games right. We'll review them. We'll go into that. Fr we'll get into that prisoner of the moment. There's a lot of games I've gotten prisoner of the moment where I'm like utterly excited. I'm just happy to be here type situation of responses to games. And when I, and I'm and by the time like it's time to put my review together, I have a good. Let's say if I had a good time, and it shows in my review, and I just give it uh like you know whatever the score I'm feeling at the time. Go back later to it, and I'm like, all right, was this really that good? And I was like, oh, I wonder how I feel about it now, right? Um, Hellblade, I'm still where I'm at uh, as far as, like, what I feel about it. I think the honeymoon has worn off. Um, I think it's one of the uh, better games released of this generation. It's currently uh, my game of the year um, from all aspects, visual, storytelling, uh, I know people got smoke with the gameplay, but I'm not even going to call it gameplay. I'm just going to use the term experience. The experience was a dope experience. Um, and I don't, I don't think it's fair to say it's not gameplay. I'm well, not going to. I'm not saying it's not gameplay, but just to appease people, because a lot of people get really when it when you say gameplay, the game. If you talk about Look, gameplay, it's very positive. light gameplay, but I won't say it's not gameplay. Yeah, like that. It, look, it, it, it's there's plenty of games that do that. Like. Uh, the Walking Dead, that game won game uh, the year one year. Are we gonna say that's not a game? You know what I'm saying? Like, they, I, I think people get too, you know, prisoner of the moment. Yeah, you know, the Detroit Become Human. People love that game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, there was interesting polls. I was, uh, I did Weapon Will a couple days. I think after that, and ever since then, I've seen a couple polls. I know we did a poll on Weapon Will. I think I've seen the poll on like uh, X about they group games like Hellblade 2, Rise in the Rome, uh, The Order 1886. I think that's fair. In another game, like they like, all right, what's bet? What's the best game? And I think in our on Weapon Will, they included. I would say I would say Rise would be the better game to me. They but in, in the weapon one they included a freaking what's the game the game I like that came out the end of I think twenty twenty two I think it came out the end of twenty twenty two or did it came out the end of twenty twenty three, uh man what's the game the the Dead Space uh, knockoff, um uh, Callisto Protocol uh, Callisto Protocol that was a good game I thought I don't that was know a, if I would consider yeah that me neither that's that like if you're gonna put that in the like I would I would pick that because I, there was nothing I didn't consider that like a walking sim it was a yeah I don't either yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't agree with that. Uh, yeah, but when you consider that. like games like Rise, The Order eighteen eighty six, and Hellblade, now the the crazy thing about these games, right? Ten years, uh, ten years later, we actually think these are very good games. Now, I thought Rise was a very good game in twenty thirteen. I thought The Order was an okay game. I didn't like, you know, I had my play my Xbox bias against it, but I actually enjoy. I think when I did the review, I actually actually enjoyed the game i had a my one of my first popular videos when i say that had like my my first video i think the the reach like a, a multiple thousand i don't know if it reached like 10k views was was the comparison i did to rise in the order 1886 or something like that 
But um, I, I, I the order was a decent game. I didn't think it was by far a bad game. It was it was an okay. It was okay. They, they should have funded the sequel. Yeah, easily they could have easily funded. Ready at Dawn hadn't made a decent game since. Um, Rise Sun Room like. Again, I've always had respect and love for that game. It had a multiplayer component that it was good. The graphics were just amazing. It was a passable for today for the, to, for today's standards as far as gameplay. I don't see what was wrong with Rise. It's like the standards at, that they were grading Rise and Rome over back then versus how they what what games they give like game of the year and ninety plus now today is just it's it's baffling. Uh, and now you look at it and then Hellblade Two. Like I said, I the the score I think it deserves a higher score. It got an eighty one, but like if if Hellblade two is an eighty one in twenty twenty four, Rise in a Room in twenty thirteen, it's now looking like a freaking eighty seven. Like you know what I mean? It's it's the expectations for these games definitely goes. Uh, it's crazy. More and more down. It, it, it's crazy. So, but. It's games like Rise, games like The Order 1886, games like Sunset Overdrive. I feel like these games are stuck in like a time capsule that no one's, you know, you're not going to sell another copy of these games. When Xbox decide, hey, we're going to make some good multiplayer, this is what I think they should have done. Like, yeah, give them Sunset Overdrive, give them freaking Rise in a Row, port these old, port the game Recore, port freaking Redfall, port Bleeding Edge. You know what I mean? Port the game. <laughs> port some the real old games that really really need a lift uh but they they would have port some of their they, they ported like all their recent ip everything game they ported was a recent ip a new ip like new to the xbox family if you i don't know if you th thought about that all the ip all the games they ported to playstation were new to xbox family in terms of whether it, like see if these it's technically a new ip that was given birth onto the xbox um a uh, hi-fi russia new ip uh uh, grounded new IP. Uh, what's the other one they do, uh sent over there? Pentiment new IP. Uh, yeah. so I don't know if it's. I don't. I would be very curious to see how they're choosing the games that go over. Mm -hmm. It might be something as simple as that. I, I don't know if there's more to that conversation. We just don't know it. That uh, conversation, it I think, very... is all over the place. And I know we we're not going to any or because it's, it's a lot of stuff that we got to talk about. But um, and it may come back up because you've heard some things. You warned me of some things, and now there's been reports. Um, we could we could go ahead and talk about it because this all happened like a, around the same time. Uh, some things from the Xbox showcase leak. They there's going to be Doom: The Dark Ages. Doom the Dark Ages, you're familiar with the report, right? I know you're familiar with like yeah. a Doom game being in development. Um, now, the rumor, which now we could probably run as close to fact, I know Tom Warren reported on it, um, Jez reported on it, and they they corroborated their sources, um, is Doom uh, the Dark Ages is going to be like a prequel, is in development for Xbox it will be launching an Xbox Game Pass, and it will be releasing, per the rumor, on PlayStation 5 simultaneously. This is no timed exclusive, no other. This is like a standard, regular, multi-plat uh, release uh, four years after the closing of the ZeniMax deal. <laughs> like, yes, uh, I, I, and just for <laughs> clarification, um, for the people that say, you know, Ivy Cap and when when people tell me stuff i i'm not one of these people that's just very public with that does that mm. make sense like i don't go out there and say oh someone told me this i tell smooth a lot of things it's smooth nine times out of ten the shit i tell you does it not happen it's happened it's, everything yeah, you've told so, me so far has kind of happened and you yeah, told me about it like a while ago and it, it's just like i i was told in in february yeah, and it's uh, it's May, and it's gonna get announced in June, and by the time yeah, it's so this is which draws back to the conversation where you mentioned like you don't know what determines what's getting ported, and you're like okay, you know we don't know, but then you look at a, a game like Doom, which probably you could have used to your advantage, <laughs> like you know what I mean, and um, and it's like well. 
what is is that considered? Oh, because it's legacy because the first two existed on PlayStation. Okay, I don't. I'll, you you you'll do that right? Because it wasn't Elder Scrolls like be previously considered an Xbox exclusive that they were gonna do. I I think Xbox how they are now isn't the same company they was when they bought Bethesda. I, I think their ambitions are different. Their strategy is different. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there was a rumor that said that this game back when it was told, you know, um, years, it's something, I can't remember what its code name was, but what people saw at the review of what it's, uh, what it got leaked as it was initially supposed to be an exclusive according to that person. And when I looked at like the stuff that he leaked, there's a couple things on there that I know is in the works. So I'm, more in time to to believe him that this was going to be an exclusive, but things changed. Stupid. Now, I will say this. I don't think Doom's ever been a big seller. It's always been a great game, critically. But they didn't... It And this is it being a multiply. Didn't never wasn't selling uh, to the critical uh, acclaim stature that it has. Now, again, it's... This is why, like, this is why I know PlayStation had their little business update itself, which went a lot different from Xbox's business update. Um, yeah, they pretty much in, like double down on the yeah. stuff that makes PlayStation good. Yeah, is the, the thing is PlayStation. The the good thing about PlayStation, if you're a PlayStation fan and and in the ecosystem, the PlayStation they still is, believe that the people they that still believe in platform. consoles, they still believe in exclusives. Even though they're uh, pivoting and putting games on games on PC, they have a better way of going about it. Um, now I don't mind Xbox putting games day and date on PC. It is what it is. Like Microsoft Windows, whatever, like that. I I'm I'm, I'm I've been I got a that I came to terms with that. I think shortly after it was a thing, right? We've accepted. We accepted it. Uh, I don't. I, I don't know if I accepted the whole PlayStation Nintendo thing or whether I'm just dealing with it. I think I'm just dealing with it because it is what it is, and I can't do anything about it. And at the end of the day, it's like whatever. But Whereas the PC is like, you know, it's like, whatever. PlayStation, they are, their temple games, games that make PlayStation, PlayStation, uh, they will continue to release console exclusive and make PC players wait for that. And then when all their sales have dried up on those temple games, they will port it onto the PC. And but when it's time for the new game to come, it's going to be what sells their PlayStation 5 consoles. There are games as a service games and multiplayer games, games that actually need a lot of people. They're doing the smart thing and making it available to PC and PlayStation so they can have that, have the Helldivers effect. Have the a Helldiver. That's a good model. It's a perfect model. It works. So now they're not shooting themselves. They're not, uh, they're not, um, they're not uh, cannibalizing their player base. They're not cannibalizing their console sales. They're pretty much, they got a two prong attack. And I think it is working. And if you're a PlayStation fan, you're confident, uh, you're secured, and knowing that, like, and you're comfortable in any sort of console war, right? Xbox strategy and just trying to be a third party publisher and a platform holder they're in a situation where damn if you do damn if you don't now i prefer xbox pc support because it's more so one license you buy your game and then you got it your access on access to it on pc i per, i like xbox game pass uh, i prefer game pass I, I like game pass right it's it's changed the way I, how i consume games However, I do not like Xbox approach where uh, they're just the, the where the, the brand had to get sacrificed in order for a couple of more sales. Um, putting games on the competitor, uh, and not even a lot of sales, man. Besides see if these, nothing else has done well. Like, yeah. And uh, how much money did they realistically make off see if these, like? I don't know, but but the, but what you guys telling me uh, as far as like obviously so Doom being the thing, so I feel like 
the, the thing is, Xbox need a, needed a consistent flow of high quality exclusives, right? We know, I mean, Starfield w was uh, great, but we know it wasn't just going to be enough. You can't, it's not just one. We need consistency. You know, you had your Starfield, and then you get next year you're getting a Hellblade, and then you're getting Indiana Jones and, and stuff, and then Doom and all that stuff should all fall into the point where it's like, all right, now we're on a, a good cadence. They never delivered a cadence before going into this new style. I don't like the new Xbox. I don't like the new Xbox management, whatever they're doing, however they're trying to do business. I don't like it. It's not in line with my expectations for gaming on Xbox. And their decisions are showing on retail. Their consoles aren't selling this much because they don't know how to read a room. And um, it, 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 it's bad, actually, How because the console is not really not putting up a fight and their games are suffering because and, and, and Game Pass is suffering. Now, this stuff might turn around. It might. The Call of Duty effect last week. I don't know why they did this prior to the showcase, but maybe you know Attic, but they've confirmed Call of Duty Black Ops 6 uh, will be launching in Game Pass for Xbox Game Pass and PC Game Pass, which I thought they would just, you know, put it on, on, on the console and then, but obviously it's coming to PlayStation as, as well, but as far as subscription, Game Pass it is, and they, they revealed that. They left all this information redacted when they did their showcase announcement. So now we know Call of Duty is going to get the separate direct. And we know it's launching day and date in Game Pass. Why did they need these announcements now? Why couldn't they hold this information until the showcase? Part of me feels like if they showed like the, because to me that that's that was their strongest card. And they they saved that they didn't save that for the show. Makes me think they're very confident in that show. Mm. Because they what what was the point in three weeks? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Makes me think that they are extremely confident of what they're doing with the brand uh, in terms of like the showcase. So I wonder what it could be because I would think that would have been a, their strongest card too. Obviously, outside of it being shown, but like to end it, like hey, play day one in Game Pass. You know what I mean? And that be the confirmation. That's essentially the mic drop for Game Pass. It's the biggest game in Game Pass since the inception of Game Pass. Um, that's so. I'm curious to see. All right, we're going into the showcase with that information. Like now, what? Uh, I we're hearing like you know, the showcase is going to be big. We're hearing about like that. You know, Gears of War is going to be there. Maybe two Gears of War games are going to be there. Uh, one rumored to be multiplied, which is 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 actually hurting my gut. Um, question for you. I have heard that too. Question for you regarding this, like knowing that because Microsoft is stupid. Um, do you how do they how do they showcase these games? You know how because we I watched think, the, I don't think, we watched I think PlayStation will announce that they're on. I don't think they'll announce it on the on the floor. Because I'm about to say stay to play. We watched stay to play and every. Every game, obviously, there was about maybe three games that were multi-plat. Um, but the reason why I knew they were mo going to be multi-plat without even like looking it up is that the games that play, obviously PlayStation is publishing that's going on they PC, said exclusive they, or tell timed you. exclusive or no, something. No, no, the games that are multi-plat didn't say it didn't say any. It just said PS5 at the end of it. So I was like, all right, so they're just obviously not going to acknowledge PC because they're not publishing the game themselves. They'll acknowledge PC if they're publishing the game because they're publishing on PS5 and PC. But if it's a third-party game and they're not publishing the game, they're only going to show what console's coming on unless it's an exclusive where they tell you. And a Marvel game scared me a little bit, but I think only a Spider-Man skin is uh, exclusive for that one. Um, you think it was worth showing that game just for that skin? I mean, they are technically the first console to market that game in any mm -hmm. way, shape, or form because mm -hmm. it's only been a PC thing right now. So that game exists right now? 
Uh, the, the beta. The beta? Okay. Because oh. we got in touch with some people and they told us, you know, we're done giving codes out, but uh, they scheduled Cog and King to get a behind the scenes at, in, uh, in L.A. That okay. next week. So. Okay, fair enough. Um, so there's a couple things that they got uh, that's, that's rumored to be at the uh, showcase. Um, again, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but I think the question I was asking you, you said, you said, you said, what did you say? I was like, how do you think they would display games knowing that they're, some of these games are definitely coming to PlayStation 5 because this is what Microsoft wants. Like how do, do they let us know or will they let us know in the Xbox wire afterwards or they, uh, PlayStation I, I don't does think it. they're going to let us know at all. I think they'll probably be in a wire, but I think PlayStation is going to be the people on their Twitter to, uh, say the game's coming to their platform. Yeah, that's going to piss me off. I'm watching the trailer. I don't think it'll be on the, the showcase. Uh, you'll have to see it through the social medias to actually see it. So I, so pretty much like what Xbox be doing during these state of plays where after the trailer airs, the marketing would yeah. tweet out a game that was just shown at the thing to confirm that it's coming to their platform. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I'm curious. No, it might I, not happen. I have no inside information on that mm -hmm. so i don't know but to me i feel like that's how it's gonna go because i highly doubt pl xbox is just gonna willingly maybe in a wire maybe in a wire but i highly doubt play xbox is just gonna willingly promote their competition like that even though the games are coming to the platform i doubt that they'll just willingly come out there and say that you know what i'm saying like how did look they at the see it these mm -hmm. i don't think they ever vi like came out willingly and said see these was coming like the day it came out I don't think that the the Xbox Twitter even shared that shit. Did wasn't there an Xbox Wire post when the the four games were confirmed? That's why I said they might do it on on, on Wire. They might do it on Wire. Mm. Uh yeah, I'm I'm curious to see how they handle that, but it's uh that's why PlayStation fans, even though the the state of play that was that aired uh probably wasn't the greatest. They got they could look for. They could truly look forward to the Xbox game showcase. Like, yeah, because those games are coming to their platform. Yeah, eventually, eventually. And the way that they're doing Doom, uh, it might be sooner than people think. You yeah. know, people think that oh, it's just you know, Doom's a one and done. It's just traditional. No, I feel like the reason Hellblade wasn't on that that sucker day and date is because it was one of the games that they probably couldn't realistically get it done on time. I don't know. The fact that that Doom is a multi plat the, out the gate makes me think that we're going to get to a point really soon and really fast. Yeah, that, they, they're moving pretty fast on that, which is which is uh, which is unfortunate to the point where how do you go from all right, we're going to just pour old games and and then within the same year have games day and date? That's The people at Microsoft do not understand gaming. Do I just think that the people that do understand are not in control. That's a bad problem think, to have. I think they lost one too many arguments when it comes to why ain't you bringing these returns that we feel like we should be making. Mm -hmm. uh, because their marketing is crap. Um, the, so you have that, right? Now the other thing that confused me, and and I'm so confused about like Xbox and in, in general with this whole move, is because the thing is, is if if they're going to be publishing games on PlayStation and Nintendo, their games, right? What you would think they won't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't benefit them to sign on third party exclusives or third party timed exclusive or anything like that. It, it's no part point, right? So. It looks like there's a rumor. I don't know if it's a rumor or if it's been confirmed, but the, the, the developers that left Rocksteady um, and they formed their own studio, they're now working on a new um, story-driven game uh, for that they're signing on with Xbox. Like, and the reason why I was confused by this is because Xbox isn't buying the studio. They just entered an agreement. It, it is weird that they're funding games. Yeah. 
maybe it's just that they they support the developers and they feel like you know we've worked with these individuals before and we feel like they could really uh you know bear fruit to a really good game and mm -hmm. we can market it and put it in game pass uh but to me it's it is all that they're willing to fund games when they won't even put their own games as an exclusive so it's like you're funding games willingly putting them on another platform yeah and that's the now, thing that those games flop like because you're gonna have to not only help them pay for the the xbox version you got to help them pay for the other versions too yeah so my thing is is like all right so so you're now are you gonna is this for xbox or are you just now you're just another ea and ubisoft who are shopping around games that you can sign publishing with and you're just gonna release it multi-plat it and once again zero messaging mm -hmm. zero explanation microsoft has went full we don't owe you anything this is our company mode okay uh, it, what's funny is i was telling someone the people are getting tired of it yeah. like I, I i can tell you know i could tell like really bad that people are getting tired with it with just what happened last time uh, once that gears hits the the ecosystem i could i'm guarantee you there's going to be a lot of people that's cuz there's people in denial and then there's there's content creators that they don't re like it's not that they i feel like they have too much hope mm -hmm. oh you know it's just going to be these four games or if it's these four games you know uh it, things are going to self correct and, and you know because they win with that metric they have a lot of the uh the Xbox listeners that watch Xbox content saying, Oh, it's just these games. And I feel like we could be doing more damage to them mm -hmm. in terms of social media. If like, this is the most divided I've ever seen the Xbox community. <laughs> and I've never, me and you, we've never really been in that Xbox circle. Yeah. No, um... you know, cause we, we don't glob the, the, uh, the Xbox stick 24 seven. So, you know, for the most part, you know, I mean, you might get a little too extra sometimes, but we were very realistic about things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, the extra is just passion. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm curious. I'm interested in the showcase. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but I really think, uh, I believe personally, this is the, the last showcase um, not in general that they do, but the last showcase, I think as an Xbox fan that I would be excited for, like looking forward to, right? Because it's going to determine a lot of things on how they're really yeah. handling things. Like if they just come up there straight up and say gears is coming to PlayStation, but like, kind of like what they did today on state of play. They just like, they took PlayStation event and announced that something's coming to PC. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, though, it's okay for PlayStation to announce something that's going to, because see, PC isn't treated like consoles. Like, they're not going to go to the stage and announce that, um, like, when they showed off MLB to show out one of their stated plays, they didn't announce that they didn't you know, tell you it's coming in the Xbox. Um, I think, uh, like, when they port games to PC, it, it, it's fine because it's their work. It, it, it's still an extension of them. They're, 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 they, they're writing trophies for PC, right? So it's an extension. It's just like how Xbox now can literally release a game on PC that's not on Xbox, but it'd be a part you, of the I showcase. Do, would you consider Stay to Play more of a PlayStation Citric event? Yeah, yeah. That's why I feel like. If you're going to do that, give that to, like, PC Showcase or something, if they still do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. there's there's plenty of outlets that can announce that. You yeah. don't have to do that. Yeah, it didn't need to like be a state of play. You could, you could have wrote that. How did they roll out Ghost of Tsushima? Was it, like, Twitter? Give it to Jeff Keighley next or, week. Jeff, oh, yeah. Yeah, the game comes out in September, right? That that would have been good enough. Yeah, yeah hey, what, Do you think they're, uh, they're going to announce something big at... Jeff Keighley show next week. PlayStation? 
Mm -hmm. Um, If they do, it's going to be uh, maybe Lego Horizon. Um, And maybe... um, I don't know if they're ready for Ghost of Tsushima 2 yet. Um, But I I, I don't know, man. I I don't know. Isn't... Isn't um when's when's the next Destiny update? Uh the sixth. Oh of June. The fourth. This Tuesday. This Tuesday, okay. So that's coming all right. So what about um Marathon? When is that due? Uh I don't think it's, it has an official release date. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm not sure play what place to do. PlayStation is just coasting, selling consoles, selling everything, you know, without really having to do much of anything. Um, it is kind of crazy how much they're selling just <clears throat> off of the brand. Yeah, and nothing involved in the brand. Yeah, yeah. And um, the other thing that was I don't know if you saw this rumor, but Halo Seven. More, I think they're using. It's said to be using Halo Five as a baseline. Yes, I looked over I that. actually reached out to people about that. Uh, they said that tweet isn't entirely right, but it's not entirely wrong either. They wouldn't go into more detail about it. I'm gonna tell you this. You're gonna disagree. Nothing's wrong with Halo Infinite. I lo- I loved Halo Five, but nothing's wrong. With- I was satisfied with Halo Infinite. I was. Sa- I'm trying to think. Did I think Halo Infinite was better than Halo Five? Yes, I think I did. I think I think Halo Infinite was better than Halo Five. Now, from a multiplayer standpoint, I had a lot of fun with Halo 5's multiplayer. A campaign standpoint, I had a lot. I enjoyed Halo Infinite. I think Halo Infinite was 343's best campaign. Um, I I don't know how I ranked it compared to Halo 4's because I think Halo 4 had a good campaign as well. Um. But for multiplayer, I see anything wrong with Halo Infinite's multiplayer. I thought it was a really, it was satisfied. The problem, the thing is, Halo doesn't have a, me- a mechanic problem or a gameplay problem. They're, that's not Halo's issue. It's peop- their issue is players, people playing the game. People are playing this crappy ass shit that they got online. They're not playing Halo. There's nothing you can do to Halo ca- uh, gameplay. To make people want to play it outside of having a battle royale, which they should have just, you know, released a, a, a battle royale, but that let that be an optional mode or something like that. But there's nothing wrong with the core gameplay of Halo. I don't think they should abandon the balance that Halo Infinite provided in their, in its multiplayer. I think, I think every time they release a Halo game in its multiplayer, I feel like when the thing is, Halo Five, and let- Halo Infinite has been some of the most balanced multiplayer experiences i've ever had so i don't know why they feel the need to keep switching they gotta stop listening to these cheese egg-headed ass fans who don't know what they spend so much time I, already I, I don't think it's the fans because i think you can make an argument that the fans would not prefer that they would prefer you to continue to cater to the halo infinite crowd because mm-hmm. that's more halo than halo 5 was yeah i feel like halo 5 has just more of a a foundation the halo infinite now i'm not saying they go back to everything that halo 5 did do yeah. a good mixture between the two but what i will say is as much as i enjoy halo infinite halo 5 has some of the funnest combat like spartan to spartan i've ever played in a halo game yeah yeah, to yeah, me, I mean, it's yeah, like, yeah it was... like you, you you gotta evolve the brand you got to and at, at this point like if they're not going to come out with this next Halo alongside, like it, it needs to be a trilogy, like a triangle. One needs to be the campaign. One needs to be uh, the the core multiplayer. The the core multiplayer, and they need a uh, battle royale. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they all need to work together. You can get. You don't have to do either one of them. You know they, because man, I don't know if I should say that. I'll probably stay away from that. But there was another game mode. That was supposed to do that for Halo Infinite, mm-hmm. but it never, it, it never saw the light of day on play, Xbox. Stupid. Um, and, and it was, it was damn near done. Really? What they like gave up? Years on? of work, not done. They gave up on it because they didn't have a lot of players. I was told 
that it was mainly a, a, a standpoint on they was having a hard time monetizing it. Because they're real big on making sure these these modes pay for themselves. Oh wow. Wow. Um man, Halo it sucks. You know what's the thing I, I have an issue with? I don't some games don't need to change. People are still playing what? Counter Strike, right? Counter Strike like that. Well, has that changed over the years? Mm hmm It has? Yeah, people still play Counter Strike to this day. Yeah, but has it changed the core gameplay of it? Has it uh, changed? They just made a second one. But has has it changed for the first one? Why can't like I, Halo? I don't play enough of it to like really give an opinion on that. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I feel like games like for example like your PUBGs and your Fortnites, you know, they have their core gameplay of what it is, right? Halo should be able to exist in that. The Gears of War should be able to. These games should have their own. Like there's like for example, Gears of War is not like another multiplayer game that exists. Halo is not like another multiplayer game that exists. Like the game that PlayStation just announced, Concord, is that was like an Overwatch in third person, right? And my, it, that's what that's I that's what I, I kind of got. That's from what it. I, I don't got know from it. if that's what it's gonna play like indefinitely when the game comes out. But I kind of got that from it. But it's a, it's, a, it's a cartoony hero shooter where the yeah, character all the characters looks have interesting. like a yeah. I think it looks interesting. I don't think it looks whack or anything like that. But I'm just saying, but. Well, I'm trying to say with Concord, it's not new. We we have that. The, those games exist. Um, so when I'm when I'm looking at like Gears and, and and Halo, these things these are games that really shouldn't have to change their core gameplay, and they should be able to exist within the online space and 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 have an audience, just like your Fortnite's and PUBG's, your your Apex and all that other stuff. Um, and I don't want them to keep deviating from what made those games, uh, made those games big. And I feel like three four three has has an identity problem with their games. It's like they keep they keep changing. They're chasing something. It's like they're chasing the ghosts. They, like the one thing they can't go back to what Bungie did because it just that's just outdated. It just won't work. They've yeah, done it's not realistic. A wonderful job modernizing Halo. I've said that like. For every Halo they release, it's like they've done the best you could possibly do with modern modernizing Halo. It just they don't get their props. The game doesn't get it, the game doesn't get the pro, never get their props under three four three that the way it should because there's just just vendetta, this um, just this disrespect people have uh, for them. So it's like they, it seems like they're always coming up short, and they don't these their games aren't bad. Halo Infinite. It's not a bad game. I don't think they should have went with the games as a service route. I think Halo should have been a standard game. It should have been a standard game. Shouldn't have been free to play. Shouldn't have been based off seasons. Should have been your standard single player component with a multiplayer component and just let and just let it rock. But I actually I disagree. I think it should have been a games as a service, but I don't think Microsoft real I think they underestimated what it would take to maintain a game like that. Yeah. If they would have, you know, first off, the Halo Infinite's development was a fucking nightmare. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't a nightmare, it probably would have been a lot easier to, to maintain it because they would have had more of a, uh, more time to develop. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is by the time, the way it was described to me is they had so many ideals going in and out, so much time was wasted on pointless stuff that was never used. By the time they got the default of what they wanted Halo Infinite to be, it was too late at the time. There wasn't enough time to do it correctly. Uh, and I think that's the biggest issue. If they would have went into Halo Infinite and they would have had like three or four seasons of content just ready to go, mm -hmm. I think we would be talking completely different at the moment. Yeah, it's... Because the problem is, is the issues that Halo Infinite had, they were unable to successfully, like, work on it and work on the seasons at the same time. Yeah. But if there wasn't that issue where, you know, they, they had time to breathe, the game was, uh, the, they had plenty of content, all they had to do is just release it when it was done, uh, when, you know, they get to it, when the seasons get to it, they could have worked more effectively on the actual game when it was having issues. But they were doing like six things at once. Yeah. 
I'm looking forward. Um, um, I'm looking forward to see. You think uh, any any Halo update will be at the showcase? Oh, I I can ask though. Okay. Um. So that way I'm just checking and make sure I'm not missing anything as far as. All right, so we got to watch the the uh, the PlayStation State of Play. Um, for some reason, I thought an, uh, another you know Xbox game would show up there. It didn't happen. It was thirty five minutes. Um, I don't. I I don't I don't know if I. I don't go into stay to plays with the same expectations I go into the Xbox showcase. I, I go in expecting to see maybe there's going to be a game I like, and maybe there's going to be a, a few games I'm interested in, maybe not. Um, I don't think there was like a major game. Uh, they opened with Concord, which, again, we said looked interesting. Um, they're, they're a hero shooter, and that's coming out, I believe, in August with a beta in July, uh, PlayStation 5 and PC. Um, looks like their character, the game's gonna have a lot, a lot of uh, personality with their characters. Um, a game like this, um, which is gonna need players, I question things like, and this is still, and people are gonna like poke fun at at this and stuff like that. I think the way it exists is, is gonna be fine. I think it's gonna do well. It should be able to do well. Um, my thing is, if, if games like games as a service, it's not free to play either. You gotta buy it, right? Yeah, I don't know how much it is either. I'm also curious on how much Astral Boy is. Once we get to that, yeah, I'm curious how much that that's gonna cost you. Should should a game like Concord or like should Sony have like yes, it opened, should be free to play. Should should op, should Sony have opened that to Xbox? Yes, but. You know, they, I guess they, you know, one thing you can say all you want about, about them is they, they are willing to stand on their ground. Mm -hmm. It's like, look, you know, even if the game fails, it's going to fail on our platform, not other people's. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, the next, and the, and the Concord, I think had the longest running time, right? I think it yeah. It was like. like 12 13 minutes yeah, or something like they that. They had this long freaking CGI thing that wasn't needed, but I guess it kind of gave you a, a, a an idea of the characters and whatnot. Gameplay looked cool. I'm not mad at it. Um comes out fairly soon too. Um and that's the first part I think that's PlayStation's first first party game this year. Um Yeah, I think the the demo comes out next month. Mm-hmm. And uh, after that, they showed. I actually, I don't even know what they showed after that. Um, there was a, there was a. I don't think there wasn't much memorable there. They I showed Silent Hill. 2. Silent Hill Two, which looked kind of rough, in my opinion. It, 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 like I know people were making fun of me in the ILP chat, mm -hmm. but it was really giving me like in PlayStation Three vibes. <laughs> like right, like yeah. a, a like a, a cross gen between PS Three and PS Four. Yeah. I know what you. I, I know what you mean. And You're like, is it to me or did The Last of Us for the PS3 look better than that game did? Yeah, no, you're you're not. Tri I won't say that because like I've I've seen The Last of Us on a PS3 like recently, and we gotten so many remasters. It's like um, the game's not hard to I've date. Been like skewed a little. Yeah, um, it does look. It looks like the medium. If it just. Put the camera a lot closer to the character, and the graphics are on par with the uh, are on par with the uh, medium. Look like I'm playing the bootleg version of Resident Evil Four, honestly. Um, but uh, shout out to Bluebird, they got it, and I think that game's coming out uh, October. They set that up for October. Um, I'm trying to think another. Dave. Did the God of War announcement for PC? They got a whole lot of host of options, man. They 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 they're showing love to the PC with the different monitor setups, the all the uh, upscaling techniques that they got going on. Um, that's coming out in September. 
it's going to require a PSN account, uh, just like Ghost of Tsushima. Um, and it's going to come with the uh, the Valhalla DLC that people, I think, I think that came out like last year. People were, were in love with that. Um, the the other the, the multi plat stuff it is what it is I know Monster Hunter they got the sh- the first gameplay of Monster Hunter Wild M- Monster Hunter Wilds which is a multi plat right that's coming to, is that coming to Xbox yeah, I, I I'm actually gonna play that I really enjoyed Worlds yeah I need to learn how to play Monster Hunter I think I feel like the Monster Hunter games look good I just don't know how to play them um and I think that's on the RE engine dude that because it looks super good um and they I know they close the showcase with um the astro world astro boy right now this game now the first astro the popular astro game that launched with the ps5 was a packing game it was a essentially a demo um this one now it's going to be a full game. You said you're curious about the cost of it. I thought, it like, hey, why not make it a PS, PS Plus game? They, um, they probably will do that. I, day and I, date? I do think, obviously, yeah. I, obviously, this game's going to cost money. Like, they're not just going to give it to people. It's going to mm-hmm. cost money. But I do see them doing a, okay, but if you have PlayStation Plus Extra, whatever that second or maybe in the third tier. Usually mm-hmm. they put stuff in that second tier. Yeah. Uh, you could get it there. I, I can totally see them doing that. Really- I'm just curious how much. Are they going to try to charge 70 bones? Because they put if they do put it in that, or are they going to be realistic, put it in that, and charge like 40? Or are they just going to charge 40? I'm kind of curious what their moves. Because I'm buying it regardless. Because I really liked Astro yeah. Bot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like so. This game seems like the biggest game of the show, honestly. Um, you open, oh, it's definitely the game of the show. So, when, and when you factor that in, and the popularity it has, you know, earned over the um, over the the cu- a couple years, this yeah, this might be a full blown seventy. Plus, she ain't afraid to charge seventy bones for you know, you no know, a game. You know, wasn't Ratchet and Clank seventy bucks? If Ratchet didn't yeah. click at seventy bucks, I don't see why this is at seventy bucks. Unless it's unless it's a short experience, like a super short experience, like the uh, equivalent in scope. It didn't seem like it though. There's but a lot it seems of like, in yeah, that it trailer. Seems, it seems like it's a full blown. It might be seventy. You a might full be real life, full realization of that. I'll you know, still demo. buy it though. Well, ILP will buy it. Like I won't buy it. Yeah, yeah. I don't see why. I mean, it is, but it, it's, it's, it was a good game. It's earned its stripe. It's it's it's. I'm. It's, it's crazy to see a game that start out. The first game that's like a, a free pack, and the, and the next game is the is a, a full blown like <laughs> seventy bucks. Um, but it's the crazy thing is it's their major release this year, first party wise. I don't consider Concord major. Yeah, uh, that that's definitely their uh, the strongest release they have to me. Yeah, so. When you factor, I mean, the state of play again, it was fine. Um, nothing, like I said, nothing really stood out to me. Astro Boy, obviously, that's a you know, is a, a given. I think Concord does look interesting. Um, I think I might, I might dive into that. The Marvels game, um, I'm, I'm interested in. I thought Monster Hunter World looks good. Um, everything else kind of just like I know there was a couple Souls like games that, um, they they put on display, um, but. I'm kind of indifferent about those. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll be good when they land. But we get we're 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 guaranteed to get like three of those games each year. A Souls like game, a Souls knockoff. Um, yeah, they're people, getting to the point where yeah. we're seeing it like really consistently. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but I'm trying to think of um, anything else. Uh, are you doing a prediction show showcase for the Xbox game showcase? It's like I know- hope he's doing one uh, this Sunday, and Attic Show will probably be doing one next week, and I'll probably Monday next week I'll release a video on it. Yeah, I mean, I I would try to do. I don't know if I'll do a video, but I think we should do a, a, a PX. The next PX we should do the um, uh, a prediction show if possible. Um, I'll probably do a video on my channel. I don't just don't know if it'll be a prediction. I haven't been really super 
and focus on it because again I'm anticipating disappointment of like Xbox has put me to the point where they can drop some good news but they will match it with equally bad news or uh bad news that excel ex- that will overshadow the good news uh, and that's why I'm kind of my expectations are in check I have no doubt it's going to be a dope showcase because I believe all their showcases have been pretty, pretty really dope um so i'm looking forward to that but again this year doesn't feel the same because they threw in a towel and this is the year that they should be like stomping on like doing some damage and they they not because they're they're fighting with one hand behind their back voluntarily um but i mean that's all i got for today i'm gonna check to see uh let's see if there's questions on uh on patreon uh, just give me one moment right quick. Hold on. I right, pull this up. There we go. Right. Oh, my bad. Let's see if the, we got any questions on the patreon if not um then we should be good to go am i not logged in holy crap no oh come on man don't do this to me all right all right so i don't think we have any questions for patreon this week well make sure you guys uh submit uh questions i gotta uh, reach out to bg because next week we'll be doing uh, um prediction uh show dedicated to the xbox game showcase um that should be interesting um but you know until then we're gonna um skedaddle out of here man um you got anything to say i actually i'm checking this i'm like damn did he put out our last px yeah it went straight to youtube oh, okay it was the hellblade one right yeah okay all right fair it enough. was the talking about the reviews yeah all right fair enough well patreon you guys got another one i think this is gonna be episode 37 uh thank you guys for all watching man um Addy, you got anything you want to share before we get out of here uh definitely you know check out iop this sunday i'll be hosting awesome interesting awesome okay all right all right awesome well i'm probably gonna be playing um i, I don't know if I'm, i i said on twitter i am down to play redfall if i can get two or three I'll people play with you. that's willing to play man um i really want to i i try playing it by myself I, I i do not enjoy it by myself but i do think i'll have a better time playing i'll play it with co-op. you if i can stream it yeah yeah that's what i want to do i want to stream it um but if you yeah if you're streaming i'll just yeah it is what it is all right you um, can stream too cool and we should definitely um um get that uh uh get that set up it has right. to be after the e3 stuff though yeah that's fine that's fine that's fine absolutely because we're gonna have some time after e3 we're gonna be you know there's gonna be some excitement but i think immediately we're not gonna you know have no major releases really up until we start getting into the burrs of the month uh, unless they you know drop something surprisingly in august and september but um we won't have nothing at least till games calm yeah all right all right guys thank you guys for uh tuning in we'll see you guys on the next episode i I think i'm losing my voice i give me some water xbox is the best box i am the best bot good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe we're out of here peace